Hi, everybody. I'm Carmi Peters, and I'm a member of Friends of the Library. And I'm here today to talk to you about my mother's favorite meatball recipe, which all of us in the family now use. The meat has to be very low fat beef combined with pork and veal. If you get beef that has more than 15% fat and you mix it with your pork and veal, you're gonna have grease like crazy on top of your sauce and you don't want that. So today I have ground round, which is 85% lean, 15% fat, approximately two and a half pounds. Now the rule is double beef, half as much pork and veal. Normally I can't find veal, but Food City had it, so I got veal. So I have a half a pound of veal and a half a pound of ground pork and somewhat over two pounds of ground beef. And I'm gonna mix those all together with these seasonings and then I'll show you how this works. I'm gonna put this bread in the water. This is what you add to the, to the recipe to, to make your meatballs fluffier and not like rocks. And I used a half a loaf of this bread, but you could use any kind of bread, any kind of bread you want, including sliced bread if you choose, if you can't find it. I'm putting the ground beef into the mixing bowl. And as I said before, I use ground round, but anything that's 85, 15, you don't want more than 15% fat. And then I'm gonna add the half a pound of pork, ground pork, and the half a pound of ground veal to the, to the pot. If I can get the Ziploc bag open which is a requirement. <laughs> and so far it looks pretty straightforward. And now I'm gonna add bread, which I have soaked in water, and I will press all the water out and add it to the mixture. It, um, it keeps it from being too heavy and too stodgy. I will let you know how much bread, although I never measure it, but I decided I'd let you know how much bread this is in case you're interested. If you don't have, I used an Italian loaf that I let dry out and then and then put in the water. But you, you can use any kind of bread. You can use sliced, that was, that was a little bit over a cup. You can use sliced bread from a loaf whatever. Pepper, a sprinkling of pepper, a half a cup of cheese, and I have Parmesan today, but sometimes I'll use Romano. And in this jar, I have pre-fixed some chopped parsley, fresh, some chopped garlic, fresh, and chopped fresh basil. And if you don't have the fresh, you can always use the, can the canned. And a little bit of salt, but not much because you've got the cheese in there. And now the mixing. Oops, almost forgot my egg. Have to put the egg in. And then the mixing begins. This is what the meatball mix looks like once you've mixed it up thoroughly. I use my hands, but today I have gloves on, of course. You don't want to mix it forever and ever, amen, or it'll get tough. And I'll show you how to make the meatballs in here again. I can't tell you how many meatballs this makes. It just depends how big you make them. I'm going to make mine fairly big because there is some shrinkage due to the fat in there. So this is the size. Okay. And I will continue making these until the whole pan is full. You can see I have fixed 22 meatballs out of this package. Now you know these are pretty big. 
and you can get more meatballs out of it if you want to make them smaller but remember they're going to shrink a little bit after they're cooked in fact i have another batch here that i made the other day and this is what they look like after you cook them in the oven for about 20 minutes until they brown the centers aren't done they have to be dropped into sauce but they're brown let's talk about the sauce for a minute I have a pot of sauce on the stove right now, and after these are pre-cooked in the oven, they're gonna be dropped in the sauce for finishing, which will take about an hour. But what I've used are two cans of crushed tomatoes and one can of sauce. I like that combination. The crushed tomatoes make it a little lighter than using all sauce or all puree. There's not going to be a lot of seasoning in this because you got a lot of seasoning in your meatballs. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I put a little dab of Italian seasoning in, which has a little bit of everything. You could add some garlic, but there's garlic in here. So basically it's just two parts crushed tomatoes, one part crushed, one part sauce, with a half a can of water added to it, and on the stove. And when we drop the meatballs in, we want the sauce simmering. The sauce is bubbling a little bit and we want it to bubble. It will not be done until we have a little bit of grease around the edges. And we don't yet. Not a lot of grease, but just a little bit of grease. The raw look of the tomatoes will be gone.